heading out for our morning walk. It's about 6.15, 30 degrees, and the sun's got her lit up a little bit. At it today, we are working on the turtle deck assembly and installation. That being the turtle deck, this is the turtle deck, and it goes on here. Covers from the windshield down to the back here. The first instructions tell you to cut the round out for this bar, it slides in this groove right here but you've got to trim out for this bar ours is running into this get that to focus better. it's running into this part of the wing here so we are going to have to trim out down here also so we've got that marked we need to move this this round part up to there then we need to notch out all the way down to here for the silver for the wing so we'll see how that goes Got her in here, got her mounted. We're ready to, uh, we just put the top two cam locks in here and here. Uh, this thing gets cut in half and, and folded up. So we didn't put these in till we get our hands in here and then we'll put these in after we get that hands on. So if things move a little bit, it won't matter. But now we're ready for the aileron control arms. And to do that, you mount your two uh, hinge pieces here onto where your ailerons mount and use it broom handle whatever I've got PVC pipe whatever fits through them nice and that gives you where to drill the hole we've got to drill a hole on this side and the other side where the control arm goes through that operates your aileron so to get that in the right neighborhood uh, you need to do something like this Helps you, helps you locate the hole, the proper place. Cut. <laughs> Get this man out of here. <laughs> You have to make this piece here uh, the hardware sent to you and it goes on the aft section here. Mount on top of these, you put uh, these cam locks go underneath it here and you rivet them in. We've got to trim this corner off here because it's sitting really hard on the fabric. So we're going to trim that off and then we've got to decide whether we want to run another piece of fabric underneath that. I don't know as it's, this is a steel bar it's sitting on, and it's going to be riveted in, so I don't think there's going to be much vibration or any reason for that to, I think we'll just round this corner good. We're going to trim these corners off and check that out.
All right, we're got her completed. We've got the uh, we've got two uh, screws in her there. We've got we're lining her hose up. The other side fits perfect. This side will go in, but it's very tight on the inside. So we're gonna trim out just a little bit up there, but it's really not not too bad. So we've got it marked to cut. We cut down the middle there. We don't have this line cut, but here's the here's the forward cut. We're basically doing the middle of the window frame up to the front of the hole. When you take this piece out, the back kicks out as you raise it up before you can before you can re remove it out of this slot to get it off. That's why you have to angle the front cut. Uh, so we'll get the hands in there, start carving that up, and we'll kind of... Uh, my recommendation is don't put these back holes in. You've got three holes goes across here and two more here. Leave them alone until you get done cutting because that hinge, you've got a lot of variance here on that hinge. I mean, you know, you may come out a eighth inch one way or the other when you get done. And if you had these holes in there, that's going to make your day a lot worse. So just just put these two front ones in on both sides so you're getting solid to get everything marked and, and these holes these hose here cut and get it all marked off and now just do your cut and get your hands in there best you can and then wherever these come out mark them later save you a lot of headache down the road all right we've made our cuts here uh, we angled this one we really we cut a piece of cardboard out and cut an angle on it because this piece has to, when you want to take it off, this part's hinged, so it don't matter. But this part will have to raise up and mess this rod that goes in here. So that's why you cut an angle forward cut. So we made a piece of cardboard up. And this angle worked fine as far as pulling it up and then you can pull it out. So that's why we went with that angle. This one's straight up, working off of this being your edge. We're straight down to the center of the hole. These cuts are three-eighths apart. You have to make two cuts on top for your for your hands material. Let me get that to focus. For your hands material here, which is this is just uh, like for shower rooms and stuff where they put shower stall glass together. That's all this is. It's just a hinge. Uh, and that goes in here, and that's why you have to have the 3 8 space, because that's how far apart your two pieces are. So you have to cut out your 3 8 So, that's your cuts. Make them. We're going to notch this little piece out on both ends. And we'll have two pieces of glass, good or bad. Alright, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, that looks like that would go on there, so I am going to whip this down. Where is the it's back? <laughs> we cut the back side shorter and left the, the leave the overhang on top because our curve, this curve right here, this curve right here in the plastic, we left this where it will go ahead and hang out a little bit over the curve, but yet it'll be back here. So we're going to try wetting this down. They say these are really hard to put on, so we're going to take their word that they are. So we're going to flatten down the Windex and hope it'll slide off because the Windex will uh, evaporate out of there. Get the wrong side.
popped in there. I'm afraid that's the easy half though, because you could put it on the floor and really, really push down on it. It's got three seals that it has to go by. But that one popped on pretty good. The next one will be not as much fun, I'm sure. We have beveled the edges just a little bit on top and bottom to hopefully get that plastic edge to start in there. I'm going to wipe, wipe, wipe this here. Let me spray this instead. Spray both. We had to shut the camera off for that one. <laughs> we needed everybody. Those are better to get on there. Um, we finally took it back apart and beveled quite a ways on those pieces that go in there. And finally, with the three of us, pushing, and pulling, and wedging, we finally got them in there uh, most of the way. We got one on. We put bolts in it. Then we gently tapped against the bolts in uh, to drive it, this piece on. But it was, don't go by what I did, because it was not good. We've got an angle iron on the, we've got all the uh, cam locks put in. Aileron still, <laughs> still fit through the hole, which is a good thing. We may need to touch up a little more up in there with the grinder. We're, Touch of the wing almost. But overall she's on. We've got the hand we got the hands on. Okay, I got the cam locks all done to show you how this this hinges up to get you into your bags compartment here. A lot easier. Uh, used to you always had to take this whole thing off of here, which is quite the task. Uh I mean, it, it's it's not that big. It is a big deal if you had to take it off by yourself every time you want to get back in here. But there's a hole right here that you can get in from the cabin side. Uh, but this is much easier. Just to do these cam locks here and raise up. You can reach right in here. I can just stand and I can reach all the way to the bottom of the the uh, baggage compartment. So that's going to be nice. I think you can haul 200 pounds somewhere in that neighborhood in the baggage apartment. So we've got one other thing to check off the list. That's all, this has got to be taken off. I've still got to mark this and trim a little bit. The rest, the rest of it is setting pretty good, I think. So the rest of it just has to be sanded. You really have to soften the edges up here because they are laying right on the cloth. And I'd say we will take another piece of Ortex and run... Uh, a strip down through here, a wear strip basically, because I'm afraid, as hard as that sets on the fabric, I'm afraid that it will need a replaceable wear strip there, but it won't take long to put one of them on. All right, we got the turtle deck done. Uh, we got the ailerons back on. All we got left to do is rivet them, put an end cap in the end of them. I think the semi-gloss is gonna work fine with our Ortex covering. You can see the dust on the wings where we wiped it off there, but I think it's a pretty good match. The semi-gloss is about what Ortex is, about semi-gloss. Alrighty. Check, check. Checking things off. <laughs>